But the program, we start off basically at the request of customers. They wanted a better, more powerful engine in order to have a shorter takeoff distance, better climb, and better cruise. We had customers coming to us that had Lycoming engines and the y 2 S and T models. The Lycoming engine has an AD note on the crankshaft. And they knew that by a certain time they're going to have to replace the crankshaft, which means basically a major overhaul. They asked us if we could put in the Continental engine a greater horsepower. They know our background of increased horsepower, our background of building engine mounts that we have in the early model airplanes. And uh, we talked to some other aircraft companies about the project. They seemed to think it was good. We talked to Teldine Continental. They were very much in favor of it because they sell engines, and especially if they can replace the Lycoming engine. So we um, got a system way to S and put in the, uh, the 310 horse engine. Tom, this is your new engine that came in. Well, I had this phone call from Mickey and she says that the uh, engine was in, so I'm anxious to get over here and see it. Okay. And uh, I'd like to unwrap it. We'll let you unwrap it, okay. Okay. Tom is a gentleman that's been flying the slow airplane for us while we've been flying the uh, airplane with another 550 engine. So if I can get Kevin to install this in my airplane, I won't have to put up with you passing <laughs> me every day. That's huh? right. That's right. The reason we decided to put this particular engine in here was um, the airplane, in our opinion, was vastly underpowered. And the Lycoming IO540 engine basically is a 230 horse engine at this point. By putting the IO550 Continental engine in here, we only gained 10 cubic inches, but in actuality, probably gained 70 horsepower. And um, in conjunction with the Hartzell three blade prop, um, we gained a great amount of speed. As well as, uh, as well as climb. This is the uh, Lycoming IO540 engine that we've taken out of the 182S model. Um, we replaced it with the Continental 310 horse uh, IO550 engine. Um, basic differences are the intake system on this one is on the bottom as well as the fuel inlet servo. And on the Continental, the, uh, the tuned intake system is on the top, allowing uh, cooler air to get into the engine, thus creating more horsepower. And this is, this is the top induction, the air comes in from the top. The air on the top of the engine is cooler because it, the cool air comes in from the uh, front of the cowling, comes up here so it keeps your induction air cooler, which gives you more horsepower than if the induction air was hot. Jack, can you tell me something about the differential in weight in this engine versus the, my current engine? This engine weighs about 40 pounds more than your current engine, however, we set the engine back uh, toward the firewall seven and a half inches. This engine sits to the rear seven and a half inches, which of course reduces the engine overhang load that's on the firewall. The center of gravity will move forward just a little bit, uh, maybe three quarters of an inch. This is the Continental IO550 top induction engine. You can see, notice the induction tubes are on the top, uh, giving us cool air going into the engine and thus creating a little more horsepower. When we first started off with this, one of the big things that we had to do was to create an engine mount. If you see, this is the mount here. And uh, Kevin, tell us about that engine mount. Uh, we had the mount engineered and uh, manufactured for us at this point, and it was the major component in making everything of this project come together. This particular engine mount was created and made with larger diameter tubing and thicker wall tubing as well. What's this about a six-point isolation system? Yes, this mount has a six-point vibration isolation system on it to help us reduce uh, vibration from the engine and propeller itself. Uh, gives us a much smoother, smoother flight, smoother ride. Why is this engine sitting so much further back from the propeller? It seems that there's quite a bit of difference between the engine and the propeller. What's that? What we attempted to do when installing the engine with the new mount was actually move the engine back towards the firewall to create less uh, overhang weight as the engine sits on the firewall. We use a propeller with an extended hub on it to be able to do this. I see there's uh, a little difference in the oil check door up here. What's, what's the deal on the oil check door? We had to actually increase the size of the door to uh, facilitate getting in and actually being able to check your oil easily um, just because of the positioning of the, the continental dipstick itself. 
Kevin, you told us some interesting things about the uh, Lycoming engine you took out, the Continental engine you put in. So let's put the cowling on, button the thing up, and, and let's go fly. I think we've got some interesting flying to do. Very good. Even I was impressed. I've been flying this airplane for several months now, and I know that it is fast. Uh, we've seen speeds in excess of 200 miles an hour, uh, straight and level, but I had no idea how much uh, difference there would be between the airplane with the 310 horse engine and Tom's airplane with the 230 horse engine. I knew it would be great, but I didn't know it would be this great. We lined up uh, side by side on, on the runway and started off, uh, of course, with the better acceleration of the 310 horse engine. I never saw Tom. I was out ahead of him from the time we released the brakes, and uh, it was just gone. I think uh, that, that's going to show up in the film some. But I was impressed with how fast we could uh, uh, leave Tom. Then we did some flybys in the air, and it was impressive to see just how fast, uh, how much more speed this airplane has than the standard 182. Another thing very impressive about it is we passed Tom, with, with Tom going straight and level, we passed Tom in a climb, and still allowed it accelerate, out climb, out cruise Tom every way that we tried. The airplane is just fantastic in, in the performance. Plus, with this big heavy engine mount that uh, Kevin told us about, the airplane is extremely smooth, very smooth, and also very quiet. When you're riding in an airplane, if you think about it, you're riding inside an aluminum drum, and any vibration that you have is gonna make that drum sound off. And this airplane is very smooth and very quiet. We've had several people talk about how quiet it really is. The way we uh, compared the airplanes with uh, Tom was running full power in his airplane, I was running full power in this airplane. Uh, when we'd run past Tom, then they have to slow down and let Tom catch up and go back and do it again. But the pictures that you see, both airplanes were running at full power. All, all we could do uh, with, with both airplanes. This propeller is one of, uh, we hope to be many choices of propellers. We have uh, on order from Hartzell a composite propeller. Uh, we want to get that SCC for it, but from what we are told from Hartzell and other people, the, the aluminum propeller is uh, better performing. But we do want to get a composite propeller approved for this for those who want composite propellers. The composite, of course, is a little bit lighter. We went for the performance. Also, the price of this propeller is several thousand dollars less than the Hartzell composite prop. This uh, prop is what we call the Hartzell Buccaneer propeller. Some people call this propeller the scimitar. It no way resembles the original Hartzell scimitar propeller. That was a propeller that had a lot of vibration with it. This propeller is extremely smooth, fast, and reasonably quiet. Well, the aircraft is definitely quicker. It has a quicker, faster takeoff roll and definitely better climb out. Uh, and um, we have to feel that most of that is due to the, uh, the heavy-duty Texas Skyways mount that we put on there. The six-point mount system greatly reduces vibration in the aircraft and um, it, it flies very smoothly. This particular engine uh, has a great reputation. It is also used in uh, Bonanzas and Cirrus aircraft. The combination of installing this particular engine with the 182 airframe is cheaper than buying a Cirrus or Bonanza and it's almost as fast.